What? I didn't have a knife. Just kidding, I always have a knife. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Today we're testing body armor, so you know it's gonna be a good day. This is a chest piece from AR500Armor.com. It's AR500 steel, and it's rated, it's level three, so it's rated to stop 308 um, full metal jackets and everything smaller than that, 556, 762 by 39 pistol calibers. And we've done a lot of testing with it, and it's done everything it's supposed to do. It stops 308 full metal jacket. The only thing I've made through here in a 308 caliber is 308 armor penetrating rounds but I was shooting straight on from right in the front. And I kind of wonder what will happen if you shoot it at an angle. Will it go straight through it or will it deflect and bounce off? There's only one way to find out. In the past, when I wanted to shoot a 308 cartridge, I had to use my old lever action 308. It's a great gun, I love the gun, but it just didn't really fit the channel very much. It needed something a little more tactical. And luckily we have it today. This is my new 308 AR. It's actually my first 308 R that I've ever had. It is an LMT 308 MWS, and it is a beast of a gun. Very accurate and uh, very reliable from what I've seen so far. I am first just going to shoot a regular full metal jacket. This is non-armor piercing, just to make sure that that plate stops the 308 round like it's supposed to. Oh. I'm gonna shoot on the left side of the target. Looks like our bullet went in right here, and I think it did not pass through. There you go. Little slight dent there. That is it. No pass through. 308 armor piercing API. These are some bad rounds. Going to be shooting at a flat target again. Now I'm just testing to see if an API round does in fact go through when it's flat. I'm gonna go right under the other spot on the left side. <laughs> That's cool. Here is the hole right here. You can see a little bit of light coming through there. The rubber shrinks back around it after the bullet goes through. Here is the exit hole right there. So our 308 AP round went through this armor plate like it was butter. So there's the back of the truck where we're shooting from. Now I need to turn this thing at about a 45 degree angle to the truck. So I'll be coming right in through there. That looks pretty close to me. We will see if this thing at a 45 degree angle coming right in this way will deflect off or will go straight through it. All right, let's see how 45 degrees works out. Looked cool. Well, already I see a lot of bluing, graying stuff around here, which is from that big flash going off from the armor piercing incendiary round. It knocked out a much bigger chunk of rubber than the other one did, and I do see a little piece of metal down in there, so that could be the armor penetrating part. The back looks uh, great, no holes. There's that other hole from before, but no other holes in this side. I actually don't even feel a dent. We'll try one more just like that, just to see if uh, it stays the same with a second round. But so far it looks like at a 45 degree angle it was enough to um, not make that thing penetrate. Second shot at 45 degree angle, I'm gonna be aiming below that first shot at 45. <laughs> that big old poop of smoke, that makes me think it probably did not go in. I bet it caught it all in that rubber, and that's what made the smoke kind of plume out the side. This is pretty neat. Also took out a big chunk. Remember, this little bitty hole was where that straight on one went. Here's the first 45, there's the second 45. Um, there's pieces of wood in there, but look at that hole out of the wood. It really deflected a bunch of metal that way. Let's go ahead and just pull this whole plate out. So there it is, and no holes coming through the other side. Totally stopped when we we're at a 45 degree angle like that. Actually, it's not even dented in either one of those. So I was doing this test because I wanted to see if in a real world situation, 
you are wearing a plate carrier, you do have that plate in it, and you're getting shot at from the front, we know that, you know, 308 armor penetrating rounds will go through, 308 full metal jackets will stop. We've seen that on my channel, we've seen it on other YouTube channels. But I wanted to know what happens if you're turned a little bit. You're just as likely to be standing straight on as you are to be turned, but no one ever tests the plates that way. It's because this is worst case scenario, but this is just as likely that you'll get hit this way. And we found out that this way, armor penetrating rounds go straight through. You turn 45 degrees, which is just that, and that's enough to make the bullet deflect off, causing no harm to the body who's wearing it. Pretty cool, I thought we were gonna have to go a little further. I figured 45 it would go straight through and we'd have to go to like 60 degrees and see if we could stop it, but the plate held up. So, I have uh, this gun loaded up with um, 20 rounds of 308 regular full metal jacket rounds and I'm just gonna shoot at the plate and see if uh, it'll stop all 20 of these. I think we'll have to call it good. Peel the rubber off the front so we can get a better idea of what was happening. Here was the very first shot with the full metal jacket 308, little bitty dent. Here was the first armor piercing round right there. Definitely went through. Here was our first 45 degree angled shot and it did dig out a little bit there. Here's our second one right here and it really dug out some there. And then here are all the 308 rounds at the end, full metal jackets that I was shooting. Some are straight on, made a pretty good dent. The ones that are angled hardly scratched it at all. Pretty cool. Who likes 308 ARs? Give this video a like. Everybody's been asking me, um, how we've been doing. Everybody knows we're in Texas and they know that it's been flooding in Texas. So I'm gonna take you down to the river and let you check it out. As you can see, it's pretty crazy down here. It's flooding everywhere. Just kidding, this is just a little drainage ditch. Let's go to the river. Here's a road that we normally drive across and the water usually goes under this bridge right here. You can see it is definitely not going under today. Up river and down river. Moving pretty fast. Now what's really crazy about this is it hasn't actually flooded in a few days. It, uh, it sprinkled a little bit, but all this rain is from a week ago when it really flooded. And to give you an idea of how high the water was a week ago, check out this tree right here. And you can see all of the debris that's way up in it. That's about seven feet off the ground. So where I'm standing right now, on this bridge, it was about five feet deeper a few days ago. That was a lot of water coming through here. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch, and we'll see you next time. Contact. Bobby!